We are keeping an eye on the progress of power being restored across the Ozarks. Most people lost power around midnight and by 11 o'clock this morning, more than 20,000 people were without power across southwest Missouri. Ozark Electric originally reported 4,100 outages this morning, but that number is now down to 3,300. And also on its Facebook page, it says the largest outages are coming from the Nixa 2 substation. They say they are getting closer to restoration, but they need more time to replace broken power poles. They did not give a timeline. Also this morning, White River Valley Electric Cooperative reported about 9,000 outages. Now only 4,000 are without power. On its Facebook page, the co-op is thanking those who have offered support to their linemen as they work to restore power. They have not offered an estimation for when the power will be restored to everyone. As for city utilities, there were about 7,500 people without power this morning. That number is now down to 5,500. Leaders with the agency say more than 30 CU crews have been at work in town today. By calling this a large scale emergency, that allows us to call in additional crews on a more rapid basis. So we pulled every trigger, if you will, that we can do to, to get this taken care of as quickly as possible. Now, because of those widespread outages, a heat advisory has been issued for our area, not because of how hot it will be, but because of the lack of AC for so many people. And we have links to cooling centers on ky3.com along with this story detailing the signs of heat illness that you need to watch out for.